Hey everybody, this is Grady, and welcome to Uncle Sweetie's Model Works. This is going to be my entry into the 2022 box stock group build. Because I decided it would be a brilliant idea to get back into the model building hobby by doing my very first kit in a group build with a deadline. So here we go. And I'm struggling here to figure out what I want to build. Um, I don't know, a month or so ago I decided it was time to start building some of these kits. And I've got a bunch of bag kits, so I thought I'd start there. I figured, you know, what the heck. If I screw it up real bad, it's a bag kit. They're not really that important to me. Because you haven't seen my whole wall yet, but I like my boxes and a wall. You know, like a lot of us do. So anyway, I picked this one. And I put the engine halves together. And I just kind of got, got busy. So I thought, you know what? I'll just pick that up. And that's what we'll do for this group build. So, well, I mean, there's no box for the box stock. But hey, we can overlook that, right? And I did glue the engine halves together. But it's also not a competition. And it's my first dipping my toes back in. So I figured it'd be okay. This is the 80 Ford Bronco by Ravel. I wasn't feeling it. So I waited to get into this group build and I wasn't feeling it and I waited. And then I decided let me let me get in it. So this is the 80 Ford Bronco by Ravel. I happened to find a sealed Kit in the box in my collection. I thought, okay, I've got two of them. It's a bag kit. If I really screw it up, I can throw it in the trash. And so I, I looked. I, I just happened. Actually, what happened was I had the bag kit. I wanted to see the box. I looked through eBay, found the box. Thought that looked familiar. Went and found this one. Well, while I was on eBay, I realized this is a eh, $50 kit. And I heard all of YouTube screaming at me, Well, Grady, you can't throw away a $50 kit. Okay, well, let me think. What else can I do? So, I went back to my bag kits. I've got a couple others. I've got some that I really want to spend time on when I have a little better skill so that I can do well. Found this one. This is Revel 86 Chevy Monte Carlo. Okay, no problem. That's not bad. It is yellowed in a lot of ways. I look at the kit. I'm like I can do I can do a Monte Carlo. I like Monte Carlos a lot. Sounds good. I went to with the last kit being fifty dollars. I went back to the, the eBay and the interwebs. And look this one up. This one <laughs> is not just the 86 Monte Carlo SS. This one is specifically the Street Burner version. Which I absolutely love. I bought this kit specifically because I like the look and I like the rims and tires and I wanted to build this version. So, I looked this one up. I didn't pay it for it, but this one is also $50, $60 kit most of the time. Like, here I am back to... <laughs> if I mess this up, they're going to scream at me. But I'm like, okay, whatever. This is what I want to do. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. Let's put this back away. And... Get this back out. So I start going through this kit. It looks pretty complete. And I'm going to save... I don't know. Start going through it. This is so what I find. Alright. Is this kit doesn't have the street burner wheels. Which is kind of a disappointment. But, 
and I'm left with, okay, well, that's a regular Chevy Monte Carlo. Well, I'm okay with that. So, let's get into this a little bit. We've got instructions. 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 We have decals. We have decals. We have the street burner version of the decals. Only the street burner version of the decals. So, I have the street burner version with no street burner wheels. What's the point of that? They kind of go together. All right, well, we're good. I can still do a regular one, whatever. But I want to do the decals. So let's go through this. So I'm going to do my entry into the 2022 box stock group build is 86 Chevy Monte Carlo by Ravel. And I will have to track down and get a version of the regular, the stock 86 Monte Carlo SS decals. I'll get on eBay. <laughs> Maybe somebody will be nice enough to turn up with a set, but that's what we'll do. All right, let's go. Let's go through the kit real quick. We've got the chrome tree, uh, wheels, breathers, oil pan, valve covers, light buckets, a couple other things. Again, right here, no street burner wheels. I'm not specifically a low rider guy, but I, trash. <laughs> I kind of like low riders, so I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't have a spare set of those, but it is what it is. Uh, tires, four tires. Again, that yellowing, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know if this kit sat in the sun somewhere before I got it, or what's going on with that. But we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try to paint this, put it together, do some prep work, all that stuff in the. What do I have left? Four weeks, yeah, plus work, plus, oh, life and all that stuff. All right, we've got chassis, we've got seat backs, we've got engine halves. Looks like we've got headers, uh, fan, fan belts, pulleys, steering wheel. Looks like a steering column there, a couple other things. Front bumper, one seat, door cards, again yellowed. I'm probably not in focus here because I'm not paying attention. Um, again, yellowed wheel backs, rear bumper. Got two stuck together here. So I've got hood, exhaust, uh, manifold, dash, front suspension. Looks like rear suspension back here. Radiator, a couple other bits and bobs. When I did do the process, look at some other kits, I'm like, started looking at this and I'm like, this is a lot to try to get done. And especially for your first kit, you know, in the short time. I only have two days off. Not going to have a lot of time to work on it. So I looked at some other kits, some simpler ones, some old MPC kits. Um... These aren't poly caps, but I'm going to say they're um, wheel hubs. So I looked at these other things. And, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, scatterbrained sometimes when I talk. So I looked at these some of these other kits, and a couple of them I also wanted to spend some more time on. I could have looked and looked for something else. I was kind of looking at lower parts count, you know, not a lot of cleanup, blah, blah, blah. Didn't find anything that either didn't strike my interest or that I wanted to spend more time on or that looked like a train wreck of a kit that I still couldn't get done. So I'm just going with this and we're going to roll with it. we got reds in the bag. Oop, let me get in camera. I've got reds in the bag. We got clear in the bag, front, back, side, couple headlights it looks like, a uh, couple of parts in the bag, I've got a wheel in the bag, why do I have a wheel in the bag, and I've got a seat in the bag, so that's the other seat, 
I've got four wheels on the tree. Why do I have another? Okay, whatever. And okay, here we go with the body. We've got a. <laughs> I was not prepared to do this. Got an interior tub in here. Interior tub. Well, there's some detail in there. Yeah, you can probably see it in there. You got the uh, side panels in the rear seat. That's kind of cool. Um, going all the way up into what little bit of a deck lid it has. And console. I like that. And the body. Actually seems to look pretty clean. Looks like there's a little sanding. Maybe a couple mold seams in there. But yeah. There's all that yellowing again. See there, and there's almost a line on this. I don't know if you can see it or not. It goes right about through there. And then the whole back deck lid is yellowed. Some of that. But there we go. So it actually looks complete. And that's my story. That's the one I'm going to stick with. It is November 17th, so I have about four weeks. <laughs> you know, which could be a lot of time if I didn't have a job and life and all those other things. And this wasn't my first kit and had to figure out a lot of things. I was going to, I don't know, I didn't know how many videos I was going to split this up into. I was going to do just one for decisions and one for the, the kit, but whatever. Um... I'll have to come back, see what happens. Next one will be probably prep, prime, paint, something like that. Or at least decision on a color. I think it's going to be silver, but I haven't decided yet. It depends on the decals I get. Some of them kind of go better over a black car. Some of them go better over a silver car. Uh, we'll just have to see. Anyway, thank you all for watching. You know the YouTube routine. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Definitely give me a subscription if you don't mind. And leave me a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you think. Maybe suggest a color that I haven't thought of. I don't want to do the Street Burner blue. Because I kind of want to save that range of colors. For when I do it in the Street Burner version. So there's that. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody have a great day.